Good evening, parents. I am so excited to have you here at Back to School Night. I want to show you our website because that is going to be where you're going to find all the information that you're going to need for the entire school year to help your student. So if you go to nolltechclass.com, you will see my main homepage here. Right now, I currently have that survey, and thank you. Many, many of you have already taken the survey, and I'm learning so much about your students. It's amazing. This does help me personalize the curriculum for the school year, so it's really important that you take it. I know it's a little long, and I apologize for that, but I definitely uh, use the information. It's not something I just file away. Uh, this will go away once everyone's taken it, and the other stuff will move up. The other next thing that's really important is class text. If you click this link, it will ask you to put in your, once it loads, your first and last name. And I highly suggest you do a phone number here instead of doing an email. And that's because when I send a text, it will actually come to your phone versus your email. I know sometimes if you're like me, I have lots of different emails and I don't always get them right away. But I do send a lot of texts like there's a spirit day tomorrow or we have a test on Monday or um, just different things, uh, field trip forms and stuff like that, just to keep you aware of what's kind of going on in our classroom. Class supplies, the main thing that I really do need is an inch and a half to two inch binder with the clear sides on the front and the back. This is gonna be our portfolio for the year, so a lot of our assignments will go in and at the very end of the year, they'll have this portfolio of their entire sixth grade year, which is kind of neat. And the kids usually really like it. Uh, and 50 to 100 plastic sheets because every assignment will be put in a plastic sheet so that it can be preserved. The other thing is headphones. I do provide headphones for the students because we do a lot of th videos and things online. However, the kids don't usually like my headphones because they're, they're a little cheap and they, they don't always work as well. So if you could provide headphones, that would be wonderful. The other thing that is probably going to be really important that I know you're going to want is this class calendar and this will actually be moved up to the top once we kind of get everybody signed up. And the class calendar, I put, you know, all the important dates, first day of school is already on here, picture day, our vacations, parent conferences, things like that. Um, so if you kind of want to know what's going on with the school, this is a nice little spot to look to see and it's updated all the time. This video, I won't play it for you, but you're welcome to on your own time. Google Classroom is where I pretty much push all the assignments out to the students, and so you get an idea of what they need. I also have a Google Classroom that is just for an agenda, so if your student's absent, it's kind of a nice way to see what they missed, and they can make up their work from home. Live broadcast. So I do a closed live broadcast. By that I mean if you sign up and you follow these instructions with Periscope, and this is what the app looks like, when I do a live broadcast, only the people who've signed up, and I know you are a parent in the class, will have access to it. Uh, I'll do things like a science experiment. Uh, maybe I know we're doing hot air balloons this year, and so that's going to be a really fun one to Periscope, so you can watch them fly. And uh, it gives you an opportunity when the kids get home, instead of saying, what would you do today? And they say nothing. You can be like, wait, I watched, watched your live Periscope, and that balloon thing looked pretty cool. So just a way for you to kind of open up communications at home. I know sixth grade, they're going to go to middle school next year, and so it's really important that we, we kind of keep those lines open, and I just want you to be aware of as much of what we're doing in the classroom as possible. The other uh, main thing that I think you're going to want are these videos, because I know Go Math and Common Core Math um, has been dif different. Um, even for me, I'm a parent of three, it's been different for me too. Um, so I do video all of my lessons. Um, if you click here, this will kind of give you an inside look onto the interactive student book for Think Central that's online, as well as a Think Central intro. You're welcome to watch those. The kids, I will show them to the kids as well. And then each chapter will have videos. They currently don't right now because I'll be making them as we go. Now for fifth grade, however, I do have the videos so I can kind of show you how it will look when the sixth grade videos are up. This is also a good tool for them if uh, maybe there's a skill they need a little more help on, they can go back to last year's and rewatch it to help them. So all the videos will be here. I try to keep them short. Um, doesn't always happen, but um, that is a good resource for you. History, all of the countries will be studying, science, all of the uh, different units we'll be covering. And then there's a little About Me link. You're welcome to read that if you want or not. No big deal. Um, links, though, is where really, really, really important. So Google Classroom link is here. Our portal to Elk Grove Unified District is here. You will get a parent view letter tonight, which will give you access to your students' grades. 
Um, I think it's really important that you see them. I'm going to try really, really hard to update them daily if I can. That way you know exactly where they're at um, at all times. If you did not come tonight and you're watching this at home, you can pick up your Parent View activation code at um, the office. So uh, you do need to bring a photo ID though because they want to make sure that you're getting your child's because it's a privacy issue. Class Dojo, this is where... <sighs> It's not really discipline, but it's for me, it's positive. I want you to be able to see how your students are doing. So um, when you click on it, you'll see, um, you know, compliments that I give the kids and things like that. Um, I've rarely had to put a negative comment. Um, but if there is, you know, it's not a bad thing. Just, you know, talk to them about learning from it. The, um, the other thing is sometimes I'll post, it's kind of like a little closed Facebook. Um, so I can post pictures from the classroom on there of things that they've done. Um, we can even do like a little video and things like that. So it's kind of just a, a nice little website. I just love all that it offers. Um, tonight you will get an activation code for that as well. Um, and if you forget where it's at, again, everything lives on my website. So you can go and find that link for you. The other thing, is I have links right now for my YouTube channel. That's where I do record all my, my math videos. Our class vlog, it's um, going to be sort of, a, instead of doing, how do I explain it? Instead of doing a written assignment sometimes, I might have the kids video and answer questions um, that way. Tonight, you'll actually get your chance to vlog your student and give them some words of affirmation and encourage them for the school year. So I'll have computers set up for you to do that tonight. And if you didn't, click on this link uh, and I'll show you where I want you to go. So that way you can get, still do it from home. Because I know parents work and you may not have been able to make it tonight. So if you click here, it's back to school night wishes. You'll click there and you'll add a little response. You'll just kind of record yourself and, you know, tell them how proud you are and how excited you are for this last year of elementary school. They'll really appreciate it. Trust me. They may not tell you, but I know they will. Um, vocabulary. All my spelling and vocabulary is done via online through this app. They will have a test a week. The test is done online. You can see their scores uh, when they log in. It's kind of a nice, um, a nice app. A lot of practice uh, will be done on that as well. Storyboard that. That's just one of the many tools I use um, for the kids to just have different ways to tell me how they know the information. More links will arrive on here as the school year goes. I am so excited. I can't tell you how much. Um, but if you have any questions, you will be able to text me through that Remind app. Um, calling the school isn't as convenient because I'm always with students. But um, texts are, um, are great because I can usually get back to you right away. I uh, look forward to meeting you tonight. And I hope that we have a great school year. And uh, thank you for being patient and listening.